and share the gospel with someone. Don't fall into the same trap that I did when I first started sharing. That is, I've got to make it through my entire presentation in, and if I come to trust Christ in order to be successful. And there are multiple reasons for why that's not a good idea. Number one is, it makes it all about me. It takes my focus off of the Lord and off of them, and it puts it on me saying, I've got to get through this presentation through hell or high water. And so it really puts the focus on me when it should be on the Lord and being sensitive in Him in His leading and the other person, what are their felt needs, and really listening to them so they feel heard. Uh, the second reason why it's not a good idea to try to get through the kind of presentation every time you share the gospel is they do unto others the golden rule principle. You would not want someone doing that to you. If you get a call from a telemarketer, one of the reasons it's annoying to you and to me is because they just keep talking and talking and talking and talking because they want to get you to where they want you to go in the conversation. And we don't like to be treated that way by any car salesmen or by telemarketers. Other people don't want to be treated that way either. So we need to learn how to share and how to stop and listen and let people respond to each part of the gospel. You may not make it through the whole, the whole thing, but that's okay. The goal should be able to move the person one step closer to Christ. That may be answering the question that they have. That may be um, causing them to rethink something that they already have said in their mind. Let your goal be um, to take them one step closer to Christ in the conversation. If they go all the way and they trust Christ, hallelujah, praise the Lord. But that's not the measure of our success. The measure is how far can I get in this conversation following the Lord with that person.